name is David. I'm a CIO at Proof. I originally come from Belgium, but live in France for actually most of my life. So, so, so AMP first. Um, I, I mean, the the it, it's not only like a decentralized exchange. So the first release is gonna like include only like uh, only the uh, decentralized uh, exchange part. But like after this, we we we're gonna add like a token platform, which basically allows you to create like um, any token. And the idea would be like you can just put this, create this token, just make a, a small blockchain transaction, create the contract, and then like start trading immediately. Right now, the 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 cause for the delay of AMP, it's not the smart contract, not the matching engine. It's just you know the the website. So, so ZOX, uh, there's two differences between uh, there's one difference, one big difference between ZOX and IDEX is ZOX is a protocol and IDEX is just one exchange, right? So we we. We are also aiming at being a, a protocol, like ZOX. The problem with ZOX is you have a token, um, and so whenever you want to trade, you know, like you have to own this token uh, in your wallet, um, and it just, you know, why do you put a token there? You know, um, it's, it's very bad for user experience. Um, so we basically what we do is, you know, like the the, the fees that go to the token holders. Um, this is abstracted from you know uh, the the smart contract, so we, we don't have a token. Um, you, you don't have to own the token. To make it simple, you don't have to own uh, a PFT token uh, to um, to trade on the exchange. You can just trade with Ether. Yeah. The, your transaction fees are going to be paid with Ether, so that's I think the biggest you know advantage over uh, ZOX. Um, and also, so ZOX is only smart contracts, so it's you know. It's a small small part of the job. They don't do matching engines. They don't do front end. So we are developing uh, the smart contract, the matching engine, and um, uh, yeah, the client, hmm. uh, the 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 website itself. And yeah, so th this this means that we like IDEX, like we can also you know cancel orders and we can uh, uh, execute several orders uh, for the same trader. Um, um, after each other, so on most decentralized exchange like Ether Delta, you have to wait that your transaction is uh, is settled before it works, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and our platform allows you. So we have a queue system that like uh, basically um, makes it simple for you and just allows you to make several trades uh, after each other. Um, so the settlement is gonna have to wait, um, but we just put like all your transactions in a queue. Or like all your orders in a queue and you can you know it's a kind of complicated system but it works really well mm -hmm. many exchange out there or many you know blockchain products projects in general say that you know they're open source um, but when you actually look at their github you see that you know only the smart contracts are open source and of course it's it's better than nothing you know like do not trade on like an exchange that has no uh, where like the the code of the contract is not revealed, right? Like, of course, don't do this. But ultimately, ideally, you you want to have like the whole uh, website client uh, code available because um, the biggest security threat for any trader is that you know on decentralized exchange, the the client code can just take your private key or like um, you know just access all your funds if you know. Um, you don't know what is inside the website software, right? So we, we put out all this code, which makes us very different from Ether Delta, which makes us very different from uh, IDEX. Anybody can take this uh, website and can take their matching engine if they wish and plug it into our smart contract. So that's the ultimate vision. Um, and so ultimately, uh, we want to uh, exactly like ZOX does it, but without a token uh, and by you know uh, having software out there, uh, we want to enable people to just uh, um, share liquidity um, with each other. So in the smart contracts, uh, we were gonna like add functions to let you share liquidity with certain addresses, with certain addresses that correspond to a certain decentralized exchange, and so people can build um, things around all this. You know, like the first release is gonna be uh, yeah full open source, a matching engine. Uh, client and um, smart contract, and but everybody will be able to trade. So that's the ultimate vision. Uh, and of course, I talked about this before, but uh, yeah, the the token platform. So we want to 
let everybody just create, you know. Um, you could imagine like a security token or maybe uh, a short sell contract, things like this, so and be able to trade them immediately on the platform. 